is going well. <laughs> anyway. This is Chris McGarrian. I'm a White House reporter at the Associated Press. And talks over the federal budget and the debt limit have entered a new phase here in Washington. Uh, President Biden and Speaker McCarthy have each appointed top negotiators to try to hammer out a deal before the deadline of June 1st. Uh, President Biden uh, has cut his trip to Asia short. He's not going to be visiting Papua New Guinea or Australia in hopes of getting back in time to uh, wrap up the debt ceiling talks. Uh, however, he's still going to Japan. Uh, and before he left, he said he was confident they're going to, be able to reach an agreement uh, in the coming days. I'm confident that we'll get the agreement on the budget that America will not default. So Democrats have always insisted they want a clean increase of the debt limit, essentially a bill that just merely allows the country to continue covering its debts going forward. Republicans, however, are using this moment as uh, a moment of political leverage to try to get some of the things that they want. Uh, and Democrats are trying to figure out what they're willing to give up in order to avoid default on the country's debt. We've got to find a way that we can curve our spending, raise our debt limit, and uh, also grow our economy. Our Republicans want more work requirements for public assistance. They want limits on future spending. Uh, and they also want to claw back some of the money that was set aside for coronavirus uh, pandemic uh, relief. That money's not been spent and now they want to uh, pull it back into the budget. Uh, so this really shows how they're digging in and using their new House majority uh, to influence policymaking in Washington. And President Biden's in a position where he has to figure out what he wants to go along with. Today he said he wanted to limit work requirements. He didn't want to see anything of a consequence there. Uh, and he's also uh, reluctant to give up too much uh, spending authority at the same time. So uh, we'll see where they're able to reach a compromise on these issues.